Good morning. This is Thursday, September 16th, and today's devotion is praying to God in secret. When you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place. It's Matthew 6. The primary thought in the area of religion is keep your eyes on God, not on people. Your motivation should not be the desire to know to be known as a praying person. Find an inner room in which to pray, where no one is, even knows you're there praying. Shut the door and talk to God in secret. Have no other motivation than to know the Father who is in heaven in that secret place. It's impossible to carry on your life as a disciple without definitive times of secret prayer. When you pray, do not use vain repetitions, Matthew 6. God does not hear us because we pray earnestly. He hears us based solely on the act of redemption through Jesus in our lives. That's so important. So often I see people get all caught up in gyration of acting and doing certain things certain ways. That's wonderful and I appreciate your efforts, but the only reason God hears us is because we're redeemed, we're saved. God is never impressed by our earnestness. I've seen people that are not saved pray with outstanding eloquence. But I knew in my spirit that God was not hearing that prayer because they were not redeemed. He only hears us because we're redeemed. Prayer is not simply getting things from God. That is only the most elementary kind of prayer. Prayer is coming into perfect fellowship and oneness with God. If the Son of God has been formed in us through regeneration, Galatians 4, then he will continue to press on beyond our common sense and will change our attitude about the way we pray. A good way to think of this, what he's saying, is how I want you to think of somebody you really enjoy sitting down and talking to. You really enjoy it. You sit down over a cup of coffee or whatever it may be, and you just talk for two or three hours. And when you get up, just the two of us, when you get up, you feel refreshed in your spirit. You feel good inside. That's what the kind of prayer he's talking about here. When you go into that secret place, you're just having a conversation with your friend. He is holy and he is magnificent, and remember that. But keep it on a relational level. Think of that person you like to talk to and how it refreshes your spirit when you spend a couple hours with them. That's what Jesus is saying here. Go into that secret place and spend some time with your Lord. Everyone who asks receives. That's Matthew 7. We pray, we can pray religious nonsense without even involving our will. And then we say, God didn't answer that prayer. In reality, we've never asked for anything. We just babbled. We just said a whole bunch of stuff. We never really asked for anything. Jesus said, stop babbling. Ask what you desire. That's John 15. Asking means that our will must be involved. And to have a will means that we're going to stop with the vain repetitions. Our will means we're going to really think about what we say in conversation with God in that secret place. Asking means that our will must be involved. Whenever Jesus talked about prayer, he spoke with wonderful, childlike simplicity. Then we respond with our critical attitude saying, yeah, but even Jesus said that we must ask. I want you to remember that we have to ask things of God that are in keeping with God, whom Jesus revealed to us. And I always tell folks that when you pray the prayer, it's okay to ask, but pray it with the proviso, thy will be done on earth, as we pray, as it's willed in heaven. The challenge I have for us today is what do our prayer lives look like? If we were to stop and really take an uh, evaluation of our prayer lives, what do they look like? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, how would you rank your prayer life with the Lord? And do we have a secret place? Let's pray. Father, I thank you that uh, you meet us in that secret place. And Lord, I pray that we would think about that friend we enjoy talking, talking to and how refreshed we feel when we come away from that conversation. And let that be the mindset that we go into our secret place with. We're meeting with our friend. And we're going to be able to talk and share with him honestly, not babble on. But let us just release and talk to you as a friend, as a child. Thank you for this wonderful gift of prayer. And I pray that as we would evaluate our prayer lives, if you call us to a deeper walk with you, we'd obey you and we'd find that time. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.